Hello, this is a video demonstration of the user interface for Emerson, Rushville, Indiana, main conference room and mezzanine. The actual panel being represented is the TST-900-2, the wireless panel that will be on the mezzanine, but the imagery is very similar, slightly different aspect ratio. I'm going to go through the functional demo twice. First, in order to show the usual operation and explain what will happen to the room and on the screen when operating the touch panel, and a second time to point out differences between the Rushville facility and Sydney. Uh, there are several. I believe that they are improvements, but there is at least a chance uh, for objections or corrections before we complete the code. With that, uh, as the screen we're now seeing indicates, we should select an option below to get started. I'm going to start with the presentation option first. When I start a presentation in this way, we see the system startup warning and go directly to the main operations page. By starting from the start presentation button on the welcome screen, by default, we start up the PC and see the check mark to indicate that it is being selected. Choosing it in this way or by pushing any of the source buttons will automatically start the projector and route audio. I want to point out the signal present indicators. These light up green if the signal in question or the source in question is connected. Um, so we haven't got actual hardware for this demonstration so we'll never see them. Ordinarily you would always see them green when one of them is in fact plugged in. So with that let's go ahead and demonstrate choosing switching between video sources which is as simple as clicking the icon. So the check mark indicates which icon is currently collected or rather uh, which source is currently being shown on the screen and heard. PC, laptop, and click share are the choices uh, with room for expansion in the future. You can also adjust the volume, that's the source volume, the level of the PC or laptop or click share as it's being heard in the room, and mute the speakers entirely, indicating that the speakers have been muted. We can also launch an audio conference or phone call by clicking this button. And we have the phone controls available, the dialing keypad, of course. I suppose I should follow the instructions that are written here, 9, 1, and uh, the number, just for the demonstration. You can dial that, hang up, pick up, redial, all that works. The clear button and backspace for the text for dialing. A button to mute the incoming sounds of the call. and a button to mute or unmute microphones. So there's a distinction here. This mute button only mutes the people that are coming in on the audio call. If you've got audio playing from one of your video sources, this button will not mute it. Muting the speakers will mute everything that's heard in the room. And of course you can switch freely back and forth between choosing a video source and controlling the phone call. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, they don't interfere with each other at all. And that is the uh, summary of the functionality one can achieve in either of these two rooms. Uh, I'm going to hit the system off button. Uh, there's a confirmation just in case that was accidentally pressed. So I'll cancel it to prove, yes, we come right back to where we came from. If we were not really ready to uh, leave, we could power off the system. And that runs through the shutdown process. Uh, there's time here to allow the display or projector to cool down. And that will be adjusted on site once we know how much time it needs. And that returns us to the welcome or home screen. So we also need to see what happens if we choose to start by going directly to audio conference. And it's much the same. A uh, little warm up to get things initialized and we land right on our operation screen. Audio conference selected, ready to make a phone call. Uh, this does not send the house PC to the video source by, by default. At this point the projector will still be off and no source will be selected as we can see by popping over here. These are just ready and wait in case uh, we have started a phone call and wish to add something for people to see in the local room later. 
So with that, I'm going to shut down again. And walk it through one more time, pointing out the differences between uh, Rushville and Sydney. Now, one of them I'm going to mention right now, because it's actually visible even now if you've seen the X panels in Sydney. Um, all of the hardware controllers, the actual physical touch panels in Sydney, have silk screened buttons on the right hand side, the bezel, the actual plastic of the touch panel, and those can't be removed. Um, so we use them, although most of them are redundant uh, functions. In the ref conference, uh, sorry, ref customer room, the first one we did, there was actually a uh, lighting control which used a lighting control button that was on the bezel, and so we used the power button and made up something for the home button to do. Um, the TST902 on the mezzanine doesn't have those buttons at all, and on the 760 for the main conference room, they exist but can be disabled so they're not visible to users. So I think this is um, an advantage overall. For one thing, it'll make the X panels uh, easier to create and maintain and look more exactly like the physical panel in the room. And it's also more in keeping with uh, modern design flow, so we can you know, alter graphics and make buttons appear and disappear as we need them. So that said, I'm going to start presentation. And we're going to start by going to the audio conference. We'll point out more differences here. Um, because we don't have those bezel buttons, we needed to have a way to turn the system off. And that is this button that you've already seen me use in the functional demonstration. This space in Sydney is occupied by the microphone mute button. Here we've moved it near the mute incoming, which is a parallel area for a parallel function. Mute what I hear, mute what other people that I'm sending to on the far side of the call here. But of course it could be relocated anywhere on the screen, uh, as could the power off button. This is a proposal and uh, I'd like to hear your feedback on it. The other uh, big difference here is that in Sydney there is actually a completely separate page with mostly redundant functionality for uh, when you start a phone call. The reason for that is that starting by going directly into presentation mode used to start the projector before a source was selected and that's largely been simply de deprecated in the market at large uh, or it's much more usual now to start when a source is selected. Uh, so there was really no need for that separate screen. The only visual difference is that in addition to these controls in Sydney, there's also a picture of a phone and the word phone in the upper uh, bar. So since the buttons now show you whether you're audio conferencing or video source selecting, there was really no need for that phone banner. On the video source selection side, um, in Sydney, Universally, um, there is a two-step process necessary to get any source to the projector or TV display and speakers. First have to choose the source, which in our case here in Rushville, will immediately bring it to the projector. And then there were a set of buttons to choose which display or speaker, or several of them, to send it to. Um, since the overwhelming majority in Sydney are two display rooms, that makes sense. It's necessary to decide. Uh, I have left that option out as a convenient shortcut since all of the rooms we know of in Rushville have only the one display. Uh, if you'd like to have that second confirmation button uh, just for appearances, we can put it back. Uh, just need to know. I think that covers all of the substantive differences. There's some behind the scenes stuff that's been uh, cleaned up and I won't go into uh, tedious detail about it, at least not further than I already have. Um, with that, I look forward to your comments and can be contacted uh, via email or by phone. Uh, contact stuff in the email message uh, from which you got this link. Thanks very much for your time.